What is what this? Is, what is you are ready for today's video because we have a bunch of Saints Beauty. We basically have everything, so we are gonna be creating a full face. My face is nice and prepped, so we're gonna start with the base. Here I have the slim tint. It's thirty-five dollars, made in USA, available in fourteen shades, and I picked up the shade three and a half. Nice packaging. The shade three and a half. It is for light to medium skin tones with golden undertones. My stuff came with this little cotton balls let's open them up so i can show you yes the little regular cotton balls nice thank you i just shake this up a little bit and the whole dilemma with this is that this is supposed to be a clean tint moisturizer with skin loving ingredients so that it doubles up as your daily skincare and this baby also got spf 35 i like this shade yes see how is this appearing on the skin look but you guys already know that i don't like using my fingers so here we go with my brush and it does have a mineral sunscreen scent i don't like the way it smells i mean let's apply a little bit more because this has no coverage i'm just gonna apply a pump right here to my brush the shade is the perfect match. Like, I don't even have to bring it down my neck. Damn, the smell, it's bothering me. So if you don't like products with scent, this is not going to be for you. Mm -hmm. Should we apply a little bit more? I already applied two pumps for half of the face only. I'm going to go in with one more pump in this side because all I see, it's glow. No coverage. Like, okay, give me some type of coverage, even if it's a little bit looks oily and i don't have oily skin i can only imagine how this is going to look at the end of the day yeah like it feels greasy and this is supposed to be infused with hyaluronic acid pansy flowers sink and i just want to take this off Oof. like i do this and all it's coming out in my finger it is like straight up grease just look at that right here. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what? Do I really have to put it on the other side of my face? I guess, whatever. Let's get this over with. You know what I'm going to do? Let me just shake this really good. Because maybe it's like, I don't know, all the oils and shit like right there. And maybe that's what's going on. Let's try this again. One more pump for the other side of the face. This, it's already feeling like if I had it on for like, I don't know, like 12 hours and it's already like super, super greasy and heavy and droopy and just like it's melting away. Oh no. Oh wow. Okay guys, if you have oily skin, don't do it to yourself, please. Right now, I'm taking one for the team, for sure, with the skin tint. Then the smell, it's unacceptable. Like. I'm gonna have to clean my brush after this. Look, look how sticky it is. I don't even wanna know how this is going to look when I step out of the house on this heat. Hmm. Ooh. Mm -mm. This is a little bit too much hydration. It's giving me a headache. I already have a headache. Oh my God, no. My skin looks like if it was wet and everything is just like sitting on top of my skin. Not for nothing, but who's going to wear this? I really don't even want to have this on, but I have to show you guys how it looks at the end of the day. Three pumps only in this side of the face, and then two over there. Okay. It feels like it's drooping on my lip. Like, do you see? Like, can you see it from over there? Look at that. Oh my god, I look terrible right now. Oh. You can see things a little bit better. I brought you all the way in. I lower my lights. And this is oh, what I'm really no. seeing right now when I look at myself in the mirror. Like, what the heck? What is this? Like, ew. Look at that. No, 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 no. Guys, I can. 
I'm not gonna do it. Like, that's crazy. I never just went and took something off and not write it out to the end of the day to show you how it looks. But right now, I'm gonna have to take this off because it's not going to be fair for the rest of the products. If I apply this on top of this, it's gonna be a mess. I know you weren't expecting for me to pop up in here with different clothes, different makeup, but I couldn't finish this video yesterday, so here I am today. As you know, the foundation, skin tint, color, whatever you wanna call it, went totally wrong. Right after application, I rushed to go take it off, and that's something I never do. I always try to be fair and stick it out all the way to the end, even if I don't like the product, but it was impossible with this. Like, there was no way that I was gonna go out with this on my face. I honestly thought that if I kept this on my face for one more second, it was gonna give me a reaction or something like that of how how greasy it was it feels so gross so uncomfortable it literally feels like if I had an expired oil just sitting on top of my skin I don't want to hear it I never ever had a foundation or skin tint or BBB cream look and feel the way that this does now we're gonna be moving on to the Hydro Bean Concealer $26 available in nine shades and I have the shade number two I already reviewed this baby if you still haven't watched the video I'm gonna be linking it in my description box down below do really love this concealer so much it doesn't crease it doesn't cake it got the perfect amount of glow so it doesn't emphasize texture I do like it a little bit more for dry under eyes than oily because it is hydrating so if you have oily skin you just have to make sure you set it the right way the formulation is super lightweight so quick and easy to blend look at that it melts into the skin and i love the fact that even though it's natural it does give me a nice amount of coverage one important thing is that you have to make sure that you let your eye cream dry before you apply this concealer that's something that you should do with any concealer really but especially with really hydrating concealers like this one if you apply your eye cream and then you go in with the concealer right Right away it's gonna be a mess see i really like the coverage it's not like full full coverage but it does what it's supposed to do now we're gonna be moving on to the air set radiant loose powder the packaging is super cute this is 30 dollars available in three shades and i picked up the shade translucent a weightless and translucent loose powder made with a unique air cream technology that sets smooths and diffuses for a radiant finish this infused with square linked is going to give you hydration it's gonna plump your skin i love the fact that that it got this little open and close situation because I hate when it's just like a big opening and then the powder ends up everywhere. I always have to get a little pair of tweezers to take this little paper off. I'm gonna be applying a little bit right here on the top. Huh? The formulation feels very lightweight. It almost feels like air, like nothing. You know how some powders, they feel creamy, some of the powders, they feel a little bit more thick. This one have no texture. Wow. I'm gonna be using about that much to set my under eye. So it did modify my under eye right away. The only thing is that I did notice that the powder have this very tiny little micro sparkles in there to make it radiant. You can barely see them though, but they're there concealer set with the powder and this is without the powder i do like it better with the powder i'm excited about this one i heard a lot of good things about this sun melt cream bomb bronzer it's 30 dollars available in four shades and i picked up the shade medium bronze the fact that the packaging of the bronzer and the powder are the same but the bronzer have like a black tapa and then this one is more like a chrome it's supposed to be a lightweight cream balm bronzer with a natural velvety finish and the formulation it's really creamy i'm just not sure about this shade it looks very orange Ugh. The fact that after it's already on the skin blended, it doesn't really feel sticky or tacky. I'm gonna be picking up a little bit with my Tom 4 brush and I'm gonna just apply it and then we blend it. This is supposed to melt into the skin for a effortless finish. And then now I'm blending it with my Scott Barn 65 brush. This is my favorite brush for blending cream bronzer. But that's nice that it doesn't matter how much you apply it will never be too much it's pretty much mistake proof see that it gives you the perfect amount i'm gonna apply a little bit more just because i just want to be extra and i want to see if it gets a bit darker if i apply a little bit more I do have powder on my under eyes and it's not moving, nothing underneath, it's blending like butter on top of the powder. 
Damn, I really like this formulation. I didn't think I was gonna like it on my nose, but it's giving me a nice sun-kissed look. So far, I'm already hooked to this bronzer. Like, there's no way for you to overdo this. This is perfect for beginners. Last but not least, I have two shades of the Dew Blush. They're $24. They're supposed to be creamy water-based gel blushes. The packaging to die for. The shade Chili, it is a cool tone mauve. And I also love the Big Thick Applicator. Let me swatch it for you right here. Wow, the consistency feels on point. And then look at the pigmentation. A little bit goes a long way, that's for sure. Use whatever I have right here on my finger, which is a lot to apply right here on my face. They're supposed to give you a nice natural flush of color. Oh, this color is so pretty. I am going to become my Fenty Beauty 125. I like the application with a brush better. You do have to have a light hand because the color payoff, it ain't playing no games. It did pick up my foundation a little bit, but very little. You can barely see it. So I'm not going to bitch too much about that because I've been had these blushes. I did wear them before a couple of times. I used them with or without makeup. And to be honest with you, it is the first time that they pick my makeup underneath. Definitely the application with the finger. Every time I apply these blushes before, I always blend it with a brush. Most of the time it's this one from Fenty, and I never had this problem before. And then this one is Spicy, which is a warm terracotta. You guys know how much I love bronzy terracotta blushes like this. They're my favorites. I'm just gonna apply a little bit right here. You really don't need that much. Like, oof. The pigmentation of these blushes it's serious look how pretty oh this shade is yes this one is the one for sure oh my god look how healthy they make the skin look and you see how it's not picking up anything underneath right now that i'm blending it with the brush definitely recommend you the application with the brush that's for sure see how it melts the blush into the skin and it gives you the most beautiful flush of color like coming with an in this one is a perfect terracotta shade for dark deep skin complexions yes which one do you like more my favorite out of the two it's definitely spicy streaky they don't get patchy let me take this off before i end up making a mess you can also use them on the lips so let's see how they look on the lips I do like the way it looks on the lips, but it's not really all that. So this is just something that I'm going to be using as blush, not really on the lips. I mean, if I'm on a spot and I don't have a lipstick, fine, but that's it. I do love how natural and how healthy and flawless everything looks. I cannot begin to explain how fucked up this skin tint is. Don't buy this. But besides this, you already know, I do really enjoy the concealer so much. The powder, it's nice, but to be honest with you, it's not something out of the ordinary. Like, I have way better powders than this one, so it's okay. Like, if you don't have any powders in your collection, let me know. I recommend you some of the powders before you get this one. And if you already have a lot of powders in your collection, this is definitely not a must-have. And then the bronzer, I actually really, really like this. As a quick all-over bronzer, it's gonna have you out of the door in seconds. Out of all the products that I showed you from Sace, the blushes, they're definitely my favorite. Highly recommend you this, babies. The pigmentation, it's A1, and I love the fresh, dewy, healthy finish they give the skin definitely love these blushes a lot more on bare skin than on top of makeup they just make bare skin look so juicy and healthy the formulation the consistency is to die for they last all day and they just give the skin the perfect amount of warmth Mwah! i love you to the moon and back bye